Hey guys, it's Katie. So today I'm going to give you a little glimpse of what it looks like in my sophomore year dorm in the sorority house and just show you guys around the place that I call home. So let's get started. So this is what you see when you come to the door. There's this wonderful <laughs> sign that uh, our good friend Nick made for us. So basically every single room in the house has a hand-drawn sign with our names on it and some pictures. As you guys can see, mine's the laptop with YouTube on it. But then when you close the door and you turn this way, this is my corner. I'm not going to show the other parts of the room just because they're not mine. But this is the little corner that is mine. It basically is just my bed and some other assorted things. I'm gonna turn on the lights just so you guys can see everything a little bit better. Um, but basically this belongs to me. It's just a lot of storage. I have a bunch of stuff in here. Don't really remember what's in here. Oh, that's a sticky boob right there. Then far down there we have some books, just some textbooks and just not very interesting things. We have my tripod. And then on the top of this I have these little drawers. I just have a couple of little chargers in here and some creams and stuff just really random stuff. Then we have some of the stuff that was on my desk at home. So we have a bunch of supplies from Staples that you guys saw in my desk organization video. It didn't fit on my desk so I stuck it here instead so I can easily access it when I walk in the room. Then if you look over here I just have a bunch of bags I can easily grab on the way out. My long shot bag and then a couple of totes. If you guys want some more details on what is on my bed you guys can look at my dorm hall. I talked a lot about it. A lot of these pillows are actually from my bed at home so it's not too interesting but that is what the bed looks like. Just super fluffy and white and it's like a cloud. I love just like hopping in it at the end of the day. Here I have a jewelry holder which you guys also saw in my dorm hall. I just have a bunch of assorted jewelry on there that I wear very frequently. Then if you look up I have my little dream Thing. It's just like a little decor thing my mom bought for me. It has a little bell on it. It's super cute to look at from my bed. Then we have these lights and then my It's Okay sign. And I'll link where you guys can buy this in the description box below. It's super cool, handmade by this wonderful woman, so definitely check that out. I was very inspired by Essie Button for that one. And then all my pillows, as I mentioned, kind of a little bit of a mix in textures, which is really cool. And then as you carry on over here to my desk, I'm going to give you a little pan of that. Lots going on over here. My planner and a textbook right here. I have my Beats pill back there, which I'm obsessed with. It's so great for playing music. This little lamp that I had on my desk last year. A candle, um, my iMac, which as you guys can see, is a very big focal point of my desk right now. I love having it up here so I can do some work late at night on videos and stuff, so I have that. And then I have my coffee cup. I have this water bottle that I take to the gym. It says Strong is the New Skinny. I'll link that below as well. I have a bunch of my stuff back there. I have my Jergens lotion. Yes, I women's deodorant. Um, my Ecu de Jour, I still can't pronounce that, from Armani Perfume, and then a bunch of just random stuff in there. I have some medicine, some more scissors, and really just miscellaneous stuff in there. Here I have an at symbol that my mom got me a couple of years ago for my desk, and a little clock which I acquired last year for my dorm room. A lot of this stuff is just things that I had in my last dorm room that I just brought here, so I have that up there for some decor. And then I have this little like mood board slash memories board. I have a letter from my big back behind that. I have a picture of my pledge class on bid day. This hustle print is from Etsy. I got it from an awesome seller on there. I have a picture from a L'Oreal shoot I did. A little card in memory of my good friend Muriel who passed away a couple years ago. A little anchor to remind me of my hometown. Just a bunch of random stuff. I have this little inspirational um, poster from my friend Gabby that I got for my birthday last year. Just a bunch of little memories that I can look at and just be sentimental and happy when I look at it. The board behind it I put in my dorm hall as well. I have this canvas with a little quote on that from my G-Big. She made that for me. Kind of perky, kind of fun, good to look at from my bed. Then I have another inspirational print down here that says make your dreams into reality and I got that from an awesome website. I'll link that website below below as well. And then I totally forgot, up there I have some little decor pieces. So then when you back away from the desk a little bit, you see my chair and I have this fluffy little furry thing on there. As you guys know, last year I had one very similar but that one got a little bit dirty so I retired it and bought a new one. This desk is like my home, I'm here all the time just like sitting here so it's nice to have a comfy little desk thingamajig on there. So I have that, then I have my school bag which is from Madewell, I'm obsessed with it. And then if you look over here I have a bunch of drawers um, and they're kind of just like miscellaneous stuff. Obviously, they're not the cleanest, but I have just some random supplies. I have a lens, I have some makeup wipes, I have my headphones. And here I have some more supplies from Staples. I have my note cards, just a pad of paper for easy access. Then all the way down here, I have just even more random stuff, including my Pirate's Booty Aged White Cheddar Popcorn. I'm obsessed with it. And some miscellaneous um, laundry supplies back there and hairspray. Then if you look under my bed, it's actually very strategically hidden, but I have a ton of stuff. So as you guys can 
see I have a plethora of storage bins in here. I brought here. a lot of stuff over from home to college using these bins from Staples. Highly recommend. So easy to pack in. So this one I have a bunch of books from home, just like pleasure read books, and maybe some textbooks under there, who knows. And I just have an assorted amount of stuff under here that I need. I have my camera bag, I have my laundry bin right here, and then back there I have even more clothes because a girl could never have too many clothes, you know? So over here to the right is my armoire. Uh, and it looks like this, nothing too exciting. On the outside here I have more jewelry because I have a ton of accessories. And when you open it, it doesn't really close because I have that much stuff. Here on the door I have most of the dresses and things that I wear every single day or just like very frequently so I can easily access it. This right here is a new little nightgown I just got from Victoria's Secret. I love it. But when you open up the armoire completely, this is what it looks like. Um, up top there are my shoes. I have even more shoes up there along with some inspirational prints from my friend Allegra. Down here I have all of my hanging clothes as you guys can see nothing too special just all of my clothing there's no real rhyme or reason to how I organized it but this is all of my spring and summery clothes so I left most of my fall and winter clothes at home and I'm gonna go get those um, when I'm home for Thanksgiving but in the meantime this is all I have right now I don't really need very many sweaters and stuff because it doesn't get too cold here in North Carolina so this is all that I have right now and my friends love it they come in and just like steal stuff all the time so as I said shoes up there little bin full of just miscellaneous stuff just like extra stuff that wouldn't fit anywhere else um, and then down here I I have two little drawers full of just like t-shirts and things that I just didn't feel like I needed to hang up. This little tank top here is one of my favorites. I actually just got this from Jawbreaking. I love shopjawbreaking.com. I'll link it below. So then in this final drawer down here I have even more t-shirts, some skirts, and just random stuff that I didn't hang up. So yeah, that is it. For the armoire, um, it's kind of boring, <laughs> just this plain wood. There's actually a funny little like spooky inscription on the back here from when a fraternity house had this armoire. Kind of weird. So yeah, that's what the dorm looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And my dad is calling me, of course. Just gonna turn it over, he's trying to FaceTime me. Okay, <laughs> sorry dad. So that's the video, hope you guys enjoyed just seeing a little glimpse of my dorm. It's not too much, but it's just enough for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye guys.